Okay, in this video, we'll uh, demonstrate how to manipulate the uh, directory sync client to uh, send users up that don't have email addresses. So first, I'll go over to my uh, domain controller and I'll show you that I have uh, every president of the United States already synced up to the cloud and each one of these has a uh, email address filled out because they have an exchange box. But I did put the presidential nominees uh, in here as presidents and they do not have email addresses. So there's Donald Trump and there's Hillary Clinton, no email addresses. When I go over to the directory sync uh, and I try to uh, up upload these new users, we will receive the error message uh, for those users that no email address uh, is available. So you can see all my users went up, but Hillary, there's no primary email address uh, and Donald, there's no uh, primary email address. So this is really easy to to fix, uh, we can just go into the configuration and modify it, and then go into the LDAP search string under the advanced settings. This is where the primary mail uh, is being pulled. It's pulled from the mail field uh, of Exchange, which we don't have anything in there, but we can uh, substitute it using the logon um, account. So in all of these cases, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, uh, user logon name here or the user principal name uh, as Windows calls it. So to do that I'm just going to change uh, percent mail percent to percent uh, user principal name percent. I'm going to go ahead and save that um, and uh, finish. And before I do the replace I'll just go over here and show you real quick that um, I don't have a Donald user I don't have a Hillary user, but like I do have a George Washington user. Um, in fact, I have some George Bushes in there. We can see the email address is pulled and the NTLM ID is pulled uh, from there. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, go ahead and replace uh, my entire system. You can do an update as well. and we just add those two. But I'll just do a full system replace here. And you can see that uh, we didn't get those errors. So we can specifically look, there's Donald Trump and it properly used the UPN uh, and made the kind of quote unquote fake email. Uh, and there's Hillary right there. So if I come over here now, do a search for Hillary. Uh, she's in there now, the exact same context as everybody else. And uh, same for uh, Donald, um, if I go over to my computer with the endpoint on it now, log in to uh, the computer, endpoint loads down here, go ahead and uh, browse the internet here, we'll go to yahoo.com, permitted site, I'm not getting prompted for any uh, user auth, uh, I'll go to uh, you know, Google and uh, sorry, I mean, you can find an article here um, to you know kind of read more about that. But uh, I mean, this is just standard Windows domain stuff. But I'll go close that, and then I'll go to a gambling site. Oops. That's a URL not available because I spelled it wrong. And the link. And you can see that that's blocked. Now I'll go over into my reporting. I have a kind of fake real time uh, monitor type report here, which will show me uh, my latest transactions by user. And you'll see that I see all my traffic, uh, which is still kind of coming in here. Um, from like a minute ago, it's all Hillary Clinton. Um, we can see, you know, Google traffic. Um, if I give it up to about a minute or so, we should see the uh, gambling.com block. And here you can see the gambling.com block as well as the misspelled gambling. So that's how you can manipulate the uh, directory sync client for to support users that don't have email addresses.